Now let's bring you a Bloomberg scoop. Boeing's 737 MAX has been declared safe to fly by Europe's top aviation regulator. That means it may return to the region's skies before the end of 2020. That's even though a further software upgrade the agency demanded won't be ready for up to two years. Uh, MAX was grounded back in March of 2019, of course, after two fatal crashes. Joining us now is the author of the story, Bloomberg's Sid Phillips. Sid, uh, congratulations breaking this story. L let me ask you first about the software update. If it won't be ready for two years and the aviation regulator demanded it, why would they let it fly? Good morning, Matt. Uh, so essentially what the regulator is saying is that uh, the fixes that Boeing's made to the software that allows uh, the, runs the system called the MCAS, uh, they think that the fixes are satisfactory. And essentially, with the current hardware, what uh, the regulators asked for is a third synthetic AOA sensor, uh, which was implicated in the, clash, uh, the crashes that occurred in both in Indonesia and Ethiopia. And what the regulator is saying is that the third sensor would make this safer. So essentially, they're saying that the plane currently, as has been repaired, is safe enough, but the sensor that would be added on would be make the plane safer. Sid, thanks very much. Uh, I, oh, in fact, yeah, let me let me just uh, spend a little more time with you and ask you to just remind us of the backstory here. This has been a plane that has been grounded for for quite a long time. Absolutely, Anna. This plane was grounded back in March 2019. And essentially, Boeing's been working with regulators and making fixes to the plane to try and bring the plane back into the skies. And essentially, for a back then, the system called the MCAS was implicated in the crashing of those two planes that I talked about earlier. And essentially, that system relied on something called angles of attack sensors. And there were errors in that sensor. And because of those errors, the plane was partly responsible for crashing. And so Boeing's been working on the fixes, and they've basically been working with regulators. And last month, regulators did some test flights and determined that the plane was good enough to fly again.